I would say the biggest challenge is to try to make uh, string theory agree with nature. From the, we know that the theory, we have a theory which is which has gravity, which has quantum mechanics, and it, as far as I know, it's completely internally consistent theory. But it has many solutions, and if we are lucky, then one of those solutions will be what describes us, right? But we don't know which one it is, right? That, that in my view, that is the biggest challenge of quantum string theory, yes. trying to understand which particular solution describes us. But then there are also many other theoretical challenges, right? Understanding black hole better in the context of string theory, for example, various puzzles of black hole, black holes, how string theory resolves them, right? the singularities in the early universe, how string theory deals with that. So all of these are certain issues that uh, we should be able to study. I would say my favorite thing is that it is a, it seems to be a completely internally consistent theory as far as you know today. And that is very hard to come up with. I mean, because we have quantum mechanics, it is a theory that combines quantum mechanics and gravity. It has a potential of including all the, also all the other forces that we see in nature. Strong, weak, electromagnetic, all the kind of elementary particles. Right? But that's only a potential. As I said, since you don't know the solution, you don't know what the, but it really describes them. But nevertheless, it turns out to be completely internally consistent. Right? And that, to me, is the biggest motivation for what means it. Yeah, I think string theory uses a lot of mathematical techniques, but it's not necessary that all string theories uses a lot of mathematical techniques. Right? I think I mean if you look at the spectrum of string theory, some of this, it goes from somebody who uses very little mathematics, right, only elementary mathematics, to somebody who uses very high power mathematics. So I would say that it is useful to have a mathematical background, but it's not necessary. And typically, I have found that mostly you learn the mathematics as you need it. If your, research, if your research in particular area of strength theory requires that you learn more mathematical tools, you learn them. Well, I have not really used very high powered mathematical tools, mm -hmm. right? I mean, I would say the perhaps the most high powered thing that I have used is the conservative Schwarzman wall crossing formula. Okay. <laughs> and that's, uh, that's quite high yeah. power, you know, it's not <laughs> trivial <laughs> to even <laughs> explain. Okay. Yeah, but, but I think certainly string theories use a lot, uh, lot more high power math than this. Mm -hmm.